remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Consent traders of the phase two of the Port Harcourt Mile One market are calling for its reopening after it was gutted by fire in 2013. The market, which was rebuilt under the administration of River State former Governor Yesom Wike, was said to have been allotted to politicians rather than traders. A situation that has left the market under lock and key five years after it was reconstructed. The traders recently protested at the River State Government House in Port Harcourt, asking the incumbent governor, Similaya Fubara, to reallocate the market to them as original shop owners before it was rebuilt. The Mai Wan market is one of the largest and most popular open markets, located in the heart of Port Harcourt City, the River State capital, dating back to the 1970s. In 2013, the market was gutted by fire, displacing hundreds of traders. Rising to the occasion, the then governor Chibu Ike Amechi had reconstructed a part of the market which he named Phase One and allotted it to some of the traders affected by the inferno. Meanwhile, the immediate past governor of River State, Nyesom Wiki, during his election campaign had solicited votes of the My One Market traders and promised to rebuild Phase Two of the market if he wins. Subsequently, after his victory, he built a well structured ultra modern market fitted with adequate facilities including cold rooms, fire station, offices, an abattoir and lock-up shops numbering up to 2,000, but failed to reallocate the market to the original traders as promised. Recently, some aggrieved traders who owned shops at the market before it was rebuilt protested to the River State Government House, stating that they were shortchanged in the allocation of the market for political purposes. All of us got a reallocation document that we paid for. This market was commissioned 2018 by our past governor, uh, Yeson Wike. We were, they, they, they balloted our shop. The time when they balloted the shade, nearly I died there. I go, immediately when they opened the gate, I enter. As I enter, I fall. Then they match me. Match me so they, I shit. If not die, I for don't die. He, uh, gave it out to politicians. They demanded that the market be reopened and their shops allotted to them. We are not here for policy. We only voted for our governor that we want. And the governor came. Let our shops be given to us. I'm hungry. Me and my children serve. I'm a widow. Nothing to help. And there are illegal people who want to claim that we are dead. We are not dead. We are alive. Five years after an elaborate fund fair commissioning, the Marwan market, now showing signs of tear and wear, is still on the lock and key. How intriguing it appears that former Governor Wiki had promised to construct phase two of the Marwan market to address street trading, which was widely gaining momentum in the city. But to the dismay of many, when the construction was completed, a task force on street trading was rather constituted to dismiss traders from selling on roadsides, despite not opening up the market for use. That the uh, governor is supposed to serve the people. We begin to melt out hardship by refusing our traders to get access to their own market after dealing with taxpayers' money, but rather set up committee do not chase same uh, 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 traders when they try to put uh, tables and makeshift uh, tents uh, on the road to help their families. The current government should do well, give them back their stores. Addressing the protesters, Secretary to the River State Government, Honorable Tami Danagogo, assured the traders that with Governor Similala Yefubara in the saddle, justice and fairness will prevail in the matter. You know we worked with the previous governor okay. and we have been concerned. Why would a place be built and locked up. The governor is a man that believes in fairness. Yes, sir. He believes in justice. Yes. He is a God-fearing and humble man. He will not, he will not on any account give what is yours to another person. In line with the foregoing, the civil society organization in River State have berated former Governor Wiki and now the FCT minister for having track records of jeopardizing the state's economy for its political interest. Inside the Niger Delta.